angels willing to hold us in their arms When our words of stone or ashes And we both pass on Let forever mean forever and carry on Welcome to another Watchman News review. So I will put the link to this item in the description of the video as well as there is an Amazon affiliate link in the description of our videos. So if you don't purchase this item and you shop Amazon, if you don't mind, uh, please use our Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It throws a little bit our way and it helps us to be able to get items to be able to review for you and other things. Uh, we're building a new website. I'm waiting now for everything to get propagated with that so I can get busy and get started on that. Uh, but that hosting was able to be got by Amazon affiliate money. So it does go right back into the show and it is highly, highly appreciated. So for those waiting for the website to get back up, bear with me. Be patient, please. Uh, we had a disaster and we lost all four of our websites all at the same time uh, on a home base server. So I'm starting over from scratch. So bear with me while I get that done right now. I'm waiting for uh, oh, different everything to get all propagated and lined up so that I can uh, actually get started in getting that website built. So anyway, uh, let's get to this bag. So I, uh, I already had shot some video down on the floor, and I opened the bag and I showed you everything that's in it. Uh, but before we get to that, I was going to take you to the Amazon page. So it's known as the M17 First Aid Kit. So uh, it's $149.95, free shipping. Uh, it is not Prime eligible, unfortunately. Um, however, it's well worth it. So, uh, we'll read what they have to say here in their notes. Uh, GI style issue bag itself can be carried by the carrying handle or the backpack straps. I show you that. Uh, the bag folds out in three ways for easy, easy access to all the contents. Uh, the M17 measures 16 inches by 10 inches by 13 and a half inches and weighs 12.12 or 12.25 pounds. Uh, it contains 120 items and used by combat trained medics. So um, we can kind of go through the pictures here on the side. That is what it looks like opened up. That is what the contents look like. And I believe the rest are just images. So um, anyway, let me get back on that picture there. Uh, this kit is also called by another name. So and that is down here. And they will tell you um, the FA-110 by Elite First Aid. So that's also another way to look up this kit is by the Elite First Aid FA-110, um, but otherwise known as the M-17. So now I've seen in the comments and the reviews that, uh, that some people say that the contents vary. I don't know. I only own one. Uh, I do know that they have a list uh, here that supposedly uh, entails all the contents of the bag. And while this list is very close, it's not right on target. Like, uh, for instance, uh, this list says that you get two irrigation syringes. Uh, my bag does not have any irrigation syringes. Um, it also says uh, somewhere that there is two... Uh, let me find it here. Ah, of course, that's the way it is. I know some here, somewhere here, it, uh, yeah, here we go. Bleed stop bandages. Now, I will show you there's, there's five, um, like, bleed stops bandages in there. But I think what they're talking about here is kind of like the quick clot. And there isn't anything like that in the bag. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, this list is pretty close. Pretty close. But there are, uh, there are some differences. Like I said, there's a couple of things that I, I don't have. But 
at the same time, uh, there are a couple of things that I have more of what they say here is in the bag. So, uh, nonetheless, it's well worth it. It's well worth it. There's only one way, though, to, uh, to show you what's in the bag, and that's to get down there and do it. So, let's go ahead and do that now. Again, link is in the description. We'll see you on the floor. Okay, we're going to try this a little bit different with both audio and video, so hopefully it turns out okay. This is the bag in question right here. So uh, let me go ahead and show you some features on the bag, and then we'll get it opened up and show you the inside. So anyway, I love this bag. Awesome, awesome bag. Uh, it's got a carry handle on top. It does have a couple of D-rings on the side so that you could put a shoulder strap on it if you'd like. But it also has backpack straps on the back. I really, really like that. Really set up well. It looks like it's made pretty well. I don't uh, see any problems with the way that it's designed. You can, uh, you can expand it a little bit, meaning uh, there's room in the, in the bag to add more stuff. And you can extend those out a little bit you know if you put more stuff in there so it's not smashed down so let's go ahead and undo our buckles we'll do the ones on the sides first here and we'll do the ones up front okay and this is how it lays open and I know I'm gonna not be able to get it all on frame but you kinda get the idea there so let me go ahead one compartment at a time and uh, and show you what's inside. We'll start with this compartment here. Kind of get that opened up a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. Open this up. And I have been through and I kind of reorganized this stuff just a little bit, not a lot. So this here is a 12 by 30 multi trauma dressing okay so and there are several of those you see one you see two you see three you see four and it seems like there might be a fifth uh, somewhere I could be wrong we'll know here momentarily trying to get these back in here That zipped up. Go to the next compartment. Here is a hundred uh, typical regular bandages like you're used to to fix your your normal little boo boos. Um, so that's what that is. One inch by three inch, just the uh, typical bandages. You get three instant ice compresses. There's three of them in there. Okay, here's the other multi-trauma dressing. I thought there was another one in there. So there are five. Let me put that back in there. Here is 100 Q-tips in this bag right here. Oops. Might help if we put that back in. Okay, center compartment. We have here a handy dandy stethoscope. It does come disassembled. You do have to put the tubes on the uh, ear pieces. What a technical term, huh? So it does come disassembled. You do have to uh, do some very minor assembly to it. So I have not done that as of yet. Get that back in the box. I plan on doing that and then putting uh, putting it in a, like a Ziploc bag and putting it back in the bag. That way it's ready to go. If you need this type of stuff in a hurry, the last thing you want to do is have to put it together. So right here is a bleed stop bandage and there are quite a few of these. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. So, five bleed stop bandages. And I don't know if there's any more of those anywhere floating around in here or not. We'll see. Yeah. 
Can't quite remember. Okay. Next, you get four of these 4x4 four four gauze sponges. Oops. You get two triangular bandages. I have to look up how to use these yet. I'm not sure how to use these. You get 12. We always call these ace bandages, but elastic bandages. There's 10 in this box here. And then they had another two thrown in. So you get 12. You get two 6-inch elastic bandages. Here are your uh, gloves, your rubber gloves. And then you get two empty pill bottles, a bottle and the caps. Oh, let's get this put back in here. And we'll move on to the next compartment. Trying to get through these as quickly as I can. Next. Okay. And in here, go ahead and pull these out because there are various things. There are some sting and bite pads okay here there's quite a few of these uh, BZK antiseptic towelettes and again there's as you can see quite a few of those okay here have it backwards you have sterile alcohol prep pads okay I'm trying to give you an idea how many they've included in there Okay, right here are iodine prep pads. Well, that's something you really don't see too often anymore is iodine. So that's what's all in there. Let me put these back together. Put them back in their bag. You don't see that too often anymore. Iodine, that is. Or is it mercur? I guess it's mercurochrome. You don't see much of anymore. Haven't seen any of that since I was a kid, actually. Okay, this here did not come in the kit. Okay, this is uh, this is a generic cat-style tourniquet. This did not come in the kit. In this bag here, you have two airways. Let me go ahead and pull this out just like this here. Okay. You have pain relief uh, reliever tablets here. That way I can just kind of toss it back in the bag here. You have two packages of this type of burn gel. You have some triple antibiotic solution, or ointment, I'm sorry, not solution, ointment. Trying to make sure I get, get them all up close. These are also a first aid and burn cream here. Okay. A little bar of soap, hand soap. Some, um, these, they say ammonia towelettes. What these are for is if somebody loses consciousness. Um, these are the alcohol, I mean the ammonia inhalants. So in other words, you would take a towelette out. You would, you know, uh, move it underneath their nose. And, um, and hopefully they, they come to. So, of course, we all know uh, it's similar to chapstick. Have some petroleum jelly here, and then they give you some uh, safety pins. Okay. 
next bag in here. Now I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to put it back in as I go. This here is a combination ink pen and light. So, a little combination ink pen light. Here is trauma shears, of course. A pair of tweezers. Get two pairs of hemostats. Here is a scalpel handle here. And you have two blades for that scalpel handle. Here is two suture kits. This here is a skin probe. I have no idea how or even what this is used for, to be quite honest. It's a skin probe. That's, uh, that's all I know. Don't know how it's used. Looks kind of like a needle, but it's got a blunt, it's got a rounded tip. It's kind of blunt. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't have like a needle tip. And, of course, this is a CPR mask here. On to the next bag here. And we'll do the same. Pull it all out and go through it. Try to make it as less messy for me as possible. Okay, so in the tape rolls you have two tongue depressors and you have five rolls of medical tape. Here is, um, is a, a latex tourniquet and you know I've, I've seen these when you know people have, uh, well the only time I've seen this is on the movies when people have been shooting up. I, I don't know uh, I don't know when you would necessarily use this. Uh, this video is not to give any type of medical advice whatsoever uh, because that would be the wrong thing for me to do. Uh, so anyway, it's a latex tourniquet. It is not the equivalent to something like a cat tourniquet, okay? You're not going to uh, stop somebody from bleeding out uh, with something like that. That I know I can tell you. Okay, these are uh, two by three bandages. You get several of them there. These here are knuckle bandages. And you get, as you can see, several of those. These here are butterfly bandages. Here it's two by two gauze pads. And then there's a couple of uh, oval eye pads in here. Not like the kind that you play Angry Birds on or nothing. They're type to cover your eyeball. Hey, you get a first aid kit or a book. I should probably read that. You get a bottle of burn spray. You get a bottle of calamine lotion. You get a bottle of hand sanitizer. You get a bottle of, uh, what do they call it exactly? Uh, ophthalmic solution eye wash. So, get a bottle of that. Okay, that would be the contents of that compartment. remember what bag those were in. I believe they were in maybe this one. Really doesn't matter as long as you know where they are in your bag. That's the important part. Okay, and the last compartment here. 
we are going to have quite a few abdominal pads, okay, 5x9 abdom ab abdominal pads, I'm trying to say that correctly there, and you get a universal splint, okay. So that's what comes in there with the exception of that cap tourniquet. I do recommend that, that you get a cap style tourniquet, um, multiple if you can. Uh, it goes back together rather easy. So you just flip the one over like that, and then you bring the top over. And what I do is I just simply kind of pull it around down on the sides here. Just kind of keep working your way back and forth. Clip your D-rings. And if you want to cinch it up a little bit, you can. But I would be mindful of this. You don't want to you don't want to smash stuff, okay? Be a little mindful when you cinch it up. Don't don't get too crazy with it. A little hard to get a hold of that little short piece. And there you have it. That is the first aid kit. So, I would tell you what, I, I think it's an excellent kit. I think it's an excellent base to start out with. Um, I do think it's a wise idea to add to this, and I will be adding to this as I can. I can't say enough about it. I, I think for the, I think for the price, I think it's a good value. The uh, the bag is excellent. Having options is always always a good idea. Being able to carry it by hand, being able to strap it on your back, you know, uh, you could get a shoulder strap and put it on on these D rings as well. Options are always a good thing. Always a good thing. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I hope it was informative enough for you to make a decision whether or not this particular medical bag is for you. Have a good day.